Women will always deny the wall. No matter what age they are, no matter how old they get, they will always deny the fact that there's a wall. They will always deny the fact that they've hit the wall. Okay, they will still continue to walk around there well into their 30s, 40s, and 50s being like, look, I still got it, I still got it. She'll continue to go out to the clubs, the bars, flaunting her tits, hanging out, you know, wearing her heels, dressing to the nines, and acting as if she still has the same level of sexual marketplace value as she did back when she was in her 20s, right? So women will constantly, constantly deny the fact that they've hit the wall. You know, they won't even acknowledge the fact that there is a wall. They'll be like, yeah, some girls, they lose their looks, but not me, look, I still got it, right? Every girl loves to say that, especially former hot girls. Former hot girls do not want to accept the fact that they hit the wall. They want to continue to go out there and compete with the 20-somethings and make a fool of themselves. And, you know, the sad thing is, is nobody tells them otherwise, right? This girl will upload photos on her Facebook or her Instagram and she'll have just thousands of thirsty beta orbiters liking her photos, you know, bullshitting her, being like, girl, oh my God, you're, you're even more hot than you were before. You know, like, yo, you were hot when you were 22 when you had this tight body, but now that you're 52, woo, girl, you are so much hotter than before. And this girl will buy into that, right? She'll believe it. So you don't have anyone being honest with these girls, right? They don't get the level of honesty that we get as guys, right? Uh, because nobody is sheltering us from the truth. I mean, especially women, they're pretty ruthlessly honest with us, especially at a club or a venue where they kind of have a license. They feel like they have a license to treat us like shit. You know, she'll be blatantly honest with you if she doesn't like you. A lot of these girls could get really mean-spirited and really cut you down. She'd be like, you know what? You're fat, you're bald, you're old, you're ugly, your shirt stinks, your clothes suck, you look like you, you dressed yourself at Walmart. You know, I mean, she'll have no problem just cutting you down like that, right? Whereas when it comes to women, uh, most people are not going to be as blunt, <laughs> right? Nobody's gonna be as, you know, as honest with her uh about those things this is like the weirdest light ever there's like three lights on this i don't know which is go but i'm gonna sit here and wait till it turns green because here in san francisco they love to collect money through these traffic lights yeah they don't even see us as citizens they just see us as revenue generators that's how the government sees all of us we're just we're just revenue right they just hold us upside down and just shake all the money out of our pockets this is why I hate big government. Oh, I can't stand it. But anyway, back to the coaching video. Um, yeah, women will forever deny that there's a wall. They'll never acknowledge it. Um, they will definitely will not acknowledge it for themselves, you know, no matter what age they are. And they will continue to go out there acting as if they've still got it, as, acting as if they're still as hot as they were 20, 30 years ago right when in reality uh, she's not I mean you know and that doesn't just go for women I mean it's really hard to uh, hold on to your uh, to your looks beyond the age of 25 I mean this goes for both men and women but the great part about being a man is we are not judged primarily on our looks whereas women are for men yeah looks have a lot to do with it initially right but what complements our sexual marketplace value is not just our looks but also our financial track record, you know, the things we've accomplished in the world, you know, the value we've been able to create. So it's not just about our looks alone. Women will always deny the wall because they know that really their only power and control that they have over men and society at the end of the day really is just their physical attractiveness, right? their ability to remain physically attractive and youthful looking. That's where her power lays and she knows without that, she has no power, she has no social value in society. So of course, she's gonna deny the wall, you know, for the rest of her life, for as long as she lives, right? She's not going to want to accept or face her own 
mortality, right? So it's just, you know, it's just the way it is. I mean, it's just like athletes, right? Most athletes don't want to admit when it's time to hang it up. And even after they hang it up, I mean, there's still a belief that they have in themselves that they can still play, right? So it's no different. I mean, women just don't want to admit that they have a shelf life that hey, after a certain age, I'm not gonna be as desirable as I once was. I'm not gonna be able to lock down the same level of high value males that I could have when I was younger. All right, so she's gonna forever deny that. And sadly, a lot of these women who end up settling for the beta male in their 30s and 40s, right, assuming they didn't get married when they were younger, assuming they didn't cash in their chips when they were younger, a lot of these girls who end up settling for these guys, they will just kind of like bullshit themselves and rationalize what a great man he is and all this other stuff when they know, you know, deep down that they could have done much, much better had they cashed it in earlier. But, um, you know, it just goes along with uh, denying that there is a wall, denying that they have, you know, a limited amount of time to really attract the type of guys that they want to in their lives where they won't feel like they're settling later on in life, right? And a lot of these girls who do wait until their 30s and 40s to get married, uh, once they get married, they do feel like they settled, right? So that's all I'm gonna say for today's coaching video. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube as we pass AT&T Stadium. You can't see it because we're in the pitch black dark, but this is where the uh, San Francisco Giants play. Uh, I'm not a Giants fan, by the way. Even though I was born and raised in San Francisco, I am a Dodgers fan. Um, I don't really care for any of the San Francisco teams, whether they be the Giants, the 49ers, or the Warriors. Uh, here you go. Oracle Park. Oh, now it's Oracle Park. Okay. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Okay, it's very important you guys subscribe. It helps me out a ton when you do. Um, also, guys, please share my uh, coaching videos with your like-minded friends so they can become red-pilled as well and we can awaken more guys out there and really, really get this movement off the ground. I mean, it's going well right now, but we could really bring it to the next level. But, you know, it's not going to happen unless we reach out to other men. You know, again, other like-minded men. Don't share my shit. Like, some of, my, some of you guys have shared my videos with, like, feminists and shit like that. Don't do shit like that, man. Because then these chicks end up, like, you know, coming to my channel and flagging videos and doing dumb shit like that. So don't be stupid, all right? Don't be an idiot and share my video with some leftist dyke at your work because, you know, you want to get her triggered, all right? Don't do shit like that. Share it with like-minded friends of yours so we can protect the movement, we can grow the movement before YouTube starts just, like, taking our channels down and we don't go anywhere with this, okay? So be smart, all right? Don't be a dumbass and do dumb shit like that. Okay, share my videos with like-minded friends. Make sure you're uh, subscribed to my channel too because I know YouTube has been unsubscribing certain guys from my channel. A lot of you guys have mentioned, so make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your like-minded friends to subscribe, right? And for you guys who want to support my work, and all this red pill knowledge I'm teaching guys even further. The best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens. Same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there approaching and closing every single week. And believe me when I tell you, we do this every single week, like taking candy from a baby, like it's nothing. And believe me, as a man, you need these skills. These were skills that you were never taught in school, okay? If you're trying to go out there and pick up girls with that Disney bullshit you learned from television and Hollywood and movies, good luck with that, right? You'll never be able to get a girl above a four in looks using that bullshit, okay? If you wanna get an attractive woman, a gorgeous woman, a woman who's even above a seven in looks, you're gonna need some game. You're gonna need some pickup skill. You're gonna need some training. Okay, it doesn't mean you need to become like a master and spend your whole life picking up girls like uh, some people here, right? But you have to get enough, you have to gain enough skill so that you can get a woman who meets your standards, okay? 
and you don't have to settle. And right now, the first month is only a buck, okay? It's only $1 for the entire first month of coaching lessons and seven months of mastery. And the reason why it's only a buck is because I really want you to try it out and check it out for yourself without you having to make a major investment. I mean, if I could make it free, I would, but apparently like PayPal doesn't let you do that. So uh, I have to charge something. So I, you know, a dollar is like the lowest I get charged for that first month. And that's why it's only a buck. So take advantage of it, okay, while you still can. And that is absolutely the best way to support me and show your love for my work, all right? It's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.